wait a second. Lillian, that totally makes sense. Because you moms know that's the old-fashioned way of checking temperature on your kids. Whoa. People of God, you better wake up. I wish I was making this up. If you are here today and you are not a Christian, you need to get saved and you need to get saved now. Why? Because tomorrow might be too late. And if you're here today and you are a Christian, then one last time, get motivated and live for Jesus. And I will say this is a warning, a heart warning. If the last 10 weeks on this study on Bible prophecy has left you bummed out and freaked out, it shows that something is wrong with your heart. Why? Because the Bible is clear. As a Christian, we should be longing for his appearing. Not running from it. Not scared of it. Not hiding out from it. We should be longing for his appearing. Do we not realize, Christian, that one day this world is going to blow sky hard? Then where do we get off acting like this is all there is to life? Do we not realize the Bible prophecy and the book of Revelation is a message not of fear. It's a book of hope and of victory. Why? Because we serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And one day he's coming back to get his bride, the church. We win. Therefore, we are going to conclude our series on that note of victory. And we're going to take a look at the rapture. But this time from God's point of view. You better get ready, folks. Because it's coming a whole lot sooner than you think. In fact, maybe from God's point of view, maybe he's on the backside of Jupiter headed this way. And he's going to be here real soon. You think I'm kidding? Folks, if you're saved, we're going home. And it might look something like this. Let's watch. I hear a sound of a mighty rushing wind and it's closer now than it's ever been I can almost hear the trumpet 